look for good qualities in you, then pick you. God wants you in the condition you are. Amen. God says, I know you're nasty, wretched, and corrupt, but I love you. Let me help you change. Yeah, huh? Amen. 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 The church <coughs> is here to teach you in turn. Because if the heart is right, God can use you. How many of you got a heart right? I don't care what sin you're in. If something inside you, I know the word called it the conscience. Man, I should have done that. Then God's in you. He's trying to tell you. You know good from evil. Come on. Let me use you. When you walk in integrity, you are going to be walking by yourself most of the time. When you start saying, I'm going to tell the truth no matter what, you're by yourself. Because guess what's going to be later? A rat, a snitch, a dime dropper. <laughs> hey, man. But that's how you're going to learn who your friends are. Hello, man. Because most who don't want to be around somebody telling the truth, they, they, that's a good thing. They don't want to be your friend. Let them go. Let them go. Everybody's only going to probably get in their whole lifetime one real friend. Amen. Treasure that one real friend. But that one lying to you and getting you to scheme with them, that was your friend. You had just became a patsy. What, what would that do? Kill President Kennedy. I was wrong. You see him walk across the TV. I'm a patsy. But he hooked up with the wrong friend. I still don't believe that boy killed Kennedy. But he hooked up with the wrong. I'm a patsy. They passing his butt right there. Right to the grave, didn't he? Hey, man. I don't know where that came out, but he's a good example. When it comes to your family, you cannot preach to them. If you're homeless and in drug addiction and been in jail and, and have mental issues and now your life is getting right and you found Jesus and you know Jesus did it. Now I'm not talking about this hocus pocus stuff on TV that says touch the screen. I'm talking about you knowing in your heart that God heals you because there ain't no way in the world you got out of your situation unless you stuck like me. There ain't no way in the world I'm staying here today without Jesus. I did not get here on Warren's in intellect. No Warren's intellect kept him high all the time. Yes. And found more money to keep me high all the time. Jesus broke me. Amen? He did. He literally did. But if you know that it was Jesus, you can't go to your family and talk about the Lord. Amen. <laughs> the Lord. You just want to be a stupid piece. Because all they know is your lifestyle. Yes. Yeah. That's all they know. Yes. And I'm telling you, I've been there done that. All they know yeah, watch. He talking to Jesus now, but he be getting high before the night. So hold on to that goodness. I'm talking about this in my experiences. Hold on to the goodness inside of you until you're right. And guess what you do in front of you? You read the goodness of Jesus. Have your spirit change the goodness of Jesus. Then when you get around your family, let them see the integrity of Jesus. Not by reading the Bible, but let them see it. There is a real change. They ain't got to follow you around the house thinking you want to sleep. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, they enjoy themselves, and they're they counting every day. Well, we you disappear from the table. Everybody's going to where you going. <laughs> but it'd be one day you come to the house, and you sit there, and nobody's worried about where you are. Matter of fact, they have so much joy that you are in the presence of the family. And guess what else is going to happen? You know, you begin to talk about Jesus now, and they'll begin to receive it. Yeah. And guess what else is happening? Yeah. I'll tell you, it blew my mind. My family just knew I was a mess, but every time a trouble came, whether they were Muslim, whether they didn't believe Jesus, no matter what they believed, uh, 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 Sagittarius, whatever inside, it didn't matter. When hell get them, they pick up the phone and said, now they call me Scott. They said, Scott.
them back. Now, you get in the prayer and say, Father, I want to pray for this person. But Jesus said, pray for your enemies. Pray for those persons. Father, I'm going to pray for them. And I go out and tell you the first person I did that for, well, I just got born again, a woman in the church, you know, I'm still fleshing. And she was fine and she was fishing. <laughs> and I said, Lord, my spirit's out. Get back. And I did. Because demons, no demons. No demons. I was a freak and I knew that was a freak. <laughs> And she got me too for a thousand dollars. Now I was going to kill her. I was going to burn her out of the house. What is the real thing? I was going to burn her out of the house. Took her to the pastor. She had an empty house when I first met her. Then all of a sudden I go to the house. It's full of friends. She's like, I'm going to kill her. She's like, I'm going to kill her. She's like, she needed help for her mom. She was cute. And I won it. And I said, this thousand dollars gonna get you that one. Get it. But, but I'm gonna get my money back. <laughs> but to make the whole story short, when she did that, I took her to the pastor. The pastor kicked out the church and she did the four other men. The girl was fine. So he kicked out the church and I was a newborn baby in Christ. But I began to pray for him. I said, Pastor, I'm going to burn out a house. I'm just going to burn it down. That's how it was. And he said, no, pray. I began to pray every night for this person. And I mean, it was hard. Oh, Father, I want you. Then I wasn't praying God's discipline on her. I said, God, give her what you gave me. Bless her with a future. Bless her with love. Give her a job. Give her money. Give her a great opportunity to serve you. Hmm. Then about a few months later, I recognized that she wasn't in my prayers no more. Why? Because God removed that anger in my heart out of this prayer. Amen. 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 See, when you pray for those who hurt you, you know what I'm saying? Then God will remove. Next thing I'm like, wow, that was awesome. Is that money didn't matter no more? You know? Because I was just smoking it up anyway. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. What mattered was my heart condition. My intent. Amen? <laughs> Go to Titus chapter 2. So pray for them. Amen? So when God sees the integrity of your heart, watch Him bless you, man. He's going to bless you. It ain't nothing wrong with having fun in church. Look, the world has their way of having fun. I ain't waiting fun with getting high. Without sleeping with somebody, without having to take a drink, you know what I mean? The fun I used to be was I wake up with a hangover. I wake up uh, 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 dehydrated because I've been smoking all that. My skin looks great. You know what I mean? I said, now that's a fun. My heart goes like this. You know? You know, you know a dog go with me, dog, right? You know? And everybody putting the sin on it, but you know, we, we know. We yeah. But again, if she was clean, I think she just had so much stuff going on inside her that her body gave up. Yeah. You know? But also, when you're rich like that, it's called it cover up. <laughs> and there's some 2,000 people or 200,000 people die every day, but only the famous get on the news. Yes. Oh, I mean, y'all got on the news for your family members got on the news. They don't. But if you're famous, that's their reward. Yeah. What reward do you want? Yeah. Hello. I want Jesus to meet me in heaven talking about welcome, that yeah. good and faithful servant. Yeah. Yeah. That's my reward. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody got to broadcast it on television. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Matter of fact, you ain't got to give, give me a headstone. You ain't got to give me a yeah. burial plot. Yeah. Stick me in the oven and fry them ashes because I know when he returns, those ashes are going to come together and I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Say, y'all yeah. Titus chapter 2. Jesus said, the twinkling of an eye, you will come back together. Ha! Man, can't wait for that. One blink with you. Man, that's awesome. But you got to have enough faith to believe that. Titus 2 verses, uh, Titus 2 verses 
13, 14. It says, looking for the blessed hope there. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity, that means sin, and purify unto him a peculiar people. There it goes, special people. Zealous of good works on fire. Zealous means you're hot for it. You can't stop thinking about doing the service for God. You want to do it. That's what makes Paul so great. Paul was zealous. He was, he was uh, zealous about killing Christians, and he was a zealous about getting people saved. Amen. That's what it meant. He put his whole heart in the energy he could need. Amen. Amen. What do you put in your heart in? When we decide to do the right thing, we show Jesus off. Amen. Every time you walk in integrity, you show Jesus. Every time you tell the truth, you show Jesus. Every time you admit that you did wrong, you show Jesus off. Pride says, I ain't telling. Pride says, I didn't do it even though the evidence is standing right there in front of you. Pride. I had that old Eddie Murphy thing. When a woman walked in the room and saw her husband, it wasn't me. And she knew it. wasn't me. Who you going to believe, me or your lying eyes? What? The pride says it wasn't you. Well, the devil is standing right there. If you are, if you are need oriented, you are doing it to please people. If you are need oriented, now I don't want to say, you know, because most of people come in here are need oriented. You come in here to get a meal. You come in here, and I pray. Who's here for the word? Amen. I love that one. That's awesome. Now I gotta take back what I was gonna say. Swap. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Man, y'all messed me up with that one. If you are need oriented, you will have a lot of bumps in life. So those of you who are need oriented will have bumps in life. That's why you keep going through what you want. Go to uh, Matthew chapter five again. Thank God for that. Man. That was a blessing to be honest. I was ready, Lord. <laughs> Matthew chapter 5 again, verse 16. I think we read it already once, but let's read it again. No, no, we didn't. Here we go. My what I'm doing. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That ain't because you got on a nice suit. You think this light is shining because of this? No. The light is shining because of my attitude. The suit don't make me, Jesus makes me. The money don't make you, Jesus makes you. It's all about your attitude. Who are you serving? The suit? Or is the suit serving you? Who are you serving? The money? Or is the money serving you? Who are you serving? I know some fantastic preachers who are married. Their wife can't stand it half the time that they have to travel and do everything. But who are they serving? Their wife or God? God will break that wife. Next thing you know, that wife is following them around. And then in doing that, she got so blessed. I don't want to say their names. But a lot of these things preach that. You see, their wife's had problems with it. But once they lined up with their husband, boy, she got all that stuff that she wanted. The big house, the big car, you know, all that stuff. The women are, women are need oriented. And we're supposed to provide that need, man. Yeah, I'm in it. Amen. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> we are. That's when we call for fire. But women, you got to have some gratitude. Women, you got to appreciate that man is going. Women, we are not sitting at this. I don't just work to put my money in your pocket. I got to be hot. When I come home, I got to be hot. When I come home, I got to be hot. 
But let them see. Don't be afraid to walk down here. Let them see you come down in one day for the bags. Then the next day they see uh, one bag. But then the next day they see no bags but a briefcase. <laughs>
speak in another language. No, don't do no evil to your friends. Amen. I guess they still want to do evil to their friends. Amen. He that backbites not with his tongue, nor do evil to his friend, nor take him up a reproach against his neighbor. Cause his neighbor shame. Reproach means shame. You want to shame your neighbor just to keep you covered. Thank you. You want to point at your neighbor just so nobody see your dirt. All right. Hello. But God will rip that cover off. Try it if you want to. Try it if you want to. But so no record will play. Come on, preach. Watch it play. It may scratch, but I guarantee you, we can pass that scratch in a real record. Don't pray. Come on. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> In whose eyes a vile person is condemned. But to honor them that fear the Lord, he that swear to his own hurt. And what? What's that about? And change not. Okay. I sound like a pastor there. Get, get, get up. <laughs> and change not. And that sound like God is saying, I want you to change. All right. Because if you swear to your heart and change no. not, you have no integrity. Oh. Hello? Boy, where have you been God? Y'all didn't know the word says this to you, did you? Amen. Woo. Oh, that's awesome. I ain't even got to go no further with that. Honestly, one who is free from lying, cheating, stealing, or impure motives. Go to Psalm 78. Come on, we got 10 more minutes. And I have to come back next week, pick up. Not next week, week, in a couple weeks. I'm flying to St. Louis today. So, y'all remind me to finish this, okay? I got another question. Psalm 78. Oh, boy. Boy. That's a good word. Look at verses 70 and 70 to 72. Psalm 78, verses 70 to 72. He chose David, also his servant, and took him from the sheepfold. Amen. Ah, took him from out there in the field. From following the ewe, you know what I'm saying. And great with young, he brought him to feed Jacob his people and Israel his inheritance. So 